Hi guys, this is Dr. Ankit Handelwal, MBBS MS Anatomy, and we are coming with a new app, Anatomy Explained. So I've been teaching Anatomy for the past decade, and right now I'm here to discuss you about how to approach this Anatomy subject for your coming NEET PG exams, which are around four months. So first of all, why the Anatomy subject? What is the importance of the subject? Now, as you all know, just a quick review: there are around 17 questions which are directly coming from Anatomy, and the basic knowledge of this subject is tested in other subjects because it is a basic subject. So total your knowledge of anatomy will be tested in around 25 to 30 questions. That is the importance of this subject. Second thing is, with the recent trend, the recent advances, the old trend questions have now been replaced by the new trend which are basically clinically applied and the conceptual knowledge. So how to approach anatomy, how to study it, we have to reach it in a conceptual basis and integrate it with other clinical subjects. So, as we all know, we have uh, done this anatomy subject in our MBBS curriculum in the first year. So, for some, it is a okay subject, difficult subject, it is a easy subject, it depends on person to person. So, but right now you are preparing for the exams. So, at least you have to give around four to five days to around seven to eight days, depending on what is your level of. Uh, comfort, uh, comfort with the subject. So if subject uh, looks easy to you, you have to give at least 4 to 5 days right now. And if it is slightly difficult for you, give at least 7 to 8 days. Now if you have done this revision, fine. What after this? See, if you leave the subject after doing this uh, revision in this uh, month and you just go in uh, January try to give the exam, it will be of no use frankly. So after a month or so, say around October and or November, try to revise it. So if subject is taking around five to let's take average seven days currently in your revision after a month or so it will hardly take three to four days because you will be making notes you will be bookmarking the important points you will be understanding the concepts so the second revision will hardly take half the time now you will be more confident now what to do now you have revised it and now you're confident but it was it is october november and the exam is on january now anatomy we can't deny it is a volatile subject. So supposedly exam is after 10 days. So within those 7 to 10 days, at least give one day, at least give one day for that last revision. That is very, very important. Because if you are just confident and you don't revise in that last one week, then it is going to hamper your few questions in the exam. So in that last one week, at least give one day to re-revise all the concepts, all the knowledge that you have bookmarked anywhere in your notes, whatever it is, so that it is for in the exam time, you are directly solving all the questions and you are confident in the exam time. Because remember how many questions? Around 25 to 30 questions will test your knowledge of anatomy. That is roughly around 10% of the whole exam. So it is not a small thing, it is 10% of the whole exam. So that is a simple approach that I want to give you just to revise, to summarize everything revision do right now if you have not done yet do it right now in the month of september take four days five days six days seven days whatever time it is taking but not more than seven to eight days because there are other subjects also then after that you are confident revise it after a month or so so that you know where you are standing and after that revision you will be more confident that is good but subject is volatile subject so in the last week or 10 days at least give one day to re revise it that is all which i can tell you right now and I hope it benefits you all. Just try to do it and all the best. And I hope you all get your very good ranks in your exam. All the best. Thank you very much.